slow, slow, seven dimension. Faster than five up, say, search warrant. More powerful than a prosecutor on speed. That's right, you read it right. Fortune for Congress. Now you know I've run for Congress in the past. I've, I've run mainly as a protest candidate. I just basically gave the finger to the Democrats and Republicans. And this year is no different as far as that goes. I will still be giving the finger to the Democrats and Republicans. But this is the first year that I'm going to take my run for office serious. And I'm really going to try to make a difference as far as uh, trying to win. It's from the bomb that he's hired in a DEA helicopter. You know, um, currently right in the 12th district, we have uh, Miss Coleman. I'm not really running against her at all. I mean, she's a very, very nice older woman. Unfortunately, the war on drugs is not a nice thing. When I was in prison, when I was in prison, it wasn't a nice thing. To defeat this thing, you cannot be nice. You know, we don't need a church lady to fight the war on drugs. You need somebody who's ready to fight. Through the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's the New Jersey weed man, pumping every day, doing his thing. Ain't nobody cool in this man, and it's never gonna change. He too clever for a man. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's the New Jersey weed man, pumping every day, doing his thing. Ain't nobody cool in this man. He too clever for a man, and it's never gonna change. New Jersey weed man. Superhero to his ganja smokers, fighting for the right to cipher and told him, indicted and choked him. Every time he battled and spoke of him, politicians getting... 800,000 Americans were arrested and ruined last year for marijuana. 24,000 of them here in New Jersey. That is a problem. These, these shootings in inner cities or across the nation are usually fought over the war on drugs. This goofy policy that the government has instituted based on racism that you couldn't put certain substances in your body. You know what? This is my body and my body alone and only I and I alone have the right to regulate it. If I choose to ingest marijuana in my body, that is my choice. That's it. There's like no debate. No debate. J. Weed Man for Congress in the 12th District. Adam with them government posts, judges with jokers, knew the laws, refused to uphold them, only made the weed man stronger. He's grew with exposure, refusing to vote. Every time he pleaded, proposed, Mary J. When you come to the joint, don't be surprised if I ask you, are you registered to vote? If you're not registered to vote, or I suspect you're not, I'm going to get you to fill out a voter registration form. I'm going to hope you vote for me, but I'd still rather you vote. I mean, there's so many positives. For voting. First of all, don't bitch about shit if you don't even participate. Okay, that's number one. Number two, if you're registered to vote, there's a possibility you can be called for jury duty. And as a juror, you could save someone's life by saying not guilty. Okay? All you people who get your voter registration forms and get your jury report cards and you fail to report or give some lame ass answer. Pfft, how unpatriotic you are. And you don't even know it. You need to be fully informed. I've got my petition here at the joint. I need your signatures. I need you to come in. Sign my petition and get me on the ballot. Sports, sports, sports.